When you say one, you should put a big one on the screen, and then a big two, and then you should put a picture of a tree. Three. three. That's there you go. Three. There you go. Three. Oh. Hi, assalamualaikum, and hello everyone. We are back in lockdown. So today we are going to share the Christmas chocolates that we got as Christmas gifts that, that we have not already eaten yet. We're gonna give it a try and share some info about the chocolates. Chocolates! I mean, who doesn't love chocolates? You could just like stay in on Friday night eating chocolate and get fat. We have Lind, of course, Cadbury's. We also have Ferrero Rocher, almost We have been eating finished. those, as you can we tell. We have been eating them. We have the Tonton Continental. We also have Hotel Chocolate. This is homemade F1 car, not necessarily Ferrari. Custom made by a proper chocolatier, not that, not that you made it. Not, n no, <laughs> I don't make chocolate. Okay. So excited to try chocolate, yummy yummy. From your experience as a frequent chocolate eater, mm -hmm. how would you rank them in terms of price and in terms of quality? I would expect the cheapest to be the Cadbury, followed by Ferrero Rocher and Lint being about the same, Thornton's probably around the same as well, and then the Hotel Chocolate being the most expensive. How about in terms of quality and the flavours? Again, the Hotel Chocolate's going to be the best. I do really like lint chocolate, I think it's very rich. Then I think probably the Thorntons and the Ferrero Rocher and I think again Cadbury. Cadbury used to be a lot better. Basically. If you got a scale of 1 to 10, and this is a 10, the lint and the Ferrero Rocher and stuff is probably around a 7 or 8. Seven. The Cadbury's probably around a 6 and things like Hershey bars are probably around minus 50. Yes. Who is not a fan of American chocolate? Seriously, American chocolate has this puke aftertaste. I do not understand why people like it. Which one do you want to try first? Everybody knows Ferrero Rocher. Growing up, I thought Ferrero Rocher is expensive. Full price, it's quite expensive here. It's just that often it's one, you'll often see it on offer. Let's give it a go. I mean, everybody know the taste. And the fact that the presentation is, I mean, it wins on presentation, right? And I love nuts. So in 19... 83 Ferrero Rocher was launched and this company is actually pride themselves in responsible approach I think 95% of their individually packed chocolate is around 150 calorie as compared to Ferrero Rocher you can get in Malaysia it's not too dissimilar can't see why they changed the recipe a lot but you'd be surprised Cadbury tastes a bit different I think you can be happy to eat one and tell yourself that you need to run 19 minutes to burn 150 calories. So after this, we're going to go for a jog for 19 minutes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You like it? I, I love them, yeah. Am I going to buy it for just binge eating? No. Probably not. Next, the Cadbury. I think in terms of presentation, this is very nice. Cadbury do nice tins. Chunks of dairy milk, whole nut and caramel. <gasps> Half gone already. All flavors available in Malaysia. Do they do they have this in packaging in Malaysia where there's a little serrated sort of teeth at the top so that you can tear it open really easily? Did I'm, they do that sort of thing on Malaysian I'm packaging? Sure, we have. Yes, we have it. Well, for a long time we didn't over here. I love caramel. Did mm. you bite the chocolate? Of course. I let it melt, and it's taking me quite some time because in Malaysia, if you have chocolate, it melts instantly yeah well it's on the verge of melting when it's just <laughs> sat in the shop isn't it <laughs> chew 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 cadbury in malaysia it's a bit milkier actually cadbury's chocolate is an okay chocolate it's not right up there with the best but it is not bad at <laughs> it all is it's not very bad. yummy and they are very well established with history for mm. over 200 years 1924 when john cadbury opened his grocery shop in birmingham Birmingham. I have been to Cadbury Wall in Birmingham. Have you been? No. I went there in 2014 with my friends and I was so excited because growing up Cadbury is just like a big brand for me mm. and then I get to visit their factory and I was like oh my god this is amazing. This is my first mm. chocolate love basically. Okay next one. Thornton's was the 
There's the chocolate my mum always used to like to get. I guess a bit like Ferrero Rocher, it's considered fancy. You don't just buy this to eat on the sofa. This mm. is, you buy it to give to somebody. I don't think we have Tontons in Malaysia. I only knew that there's a chocolate brand Tontons when I came to the UK. Because I came across their shop. It's quite yeah. a nice shop. They have shops in a high street, quite nice. And then the price is not too bad. I'm yeah. not going to say it's cheap, but it's not expensive either. No, if you want to think of there being really fancy chocolates and chocolate brands. Thornton's is sort of your entry level. Exactly, entry level. Chocolatier. This is the continental, so all the chocolates are themed on European countries. Well, Alpine for the Alps, you've got... Oh, uh, I didn't realise that. Sicilian. Yeah, that's why it's called continental. It's they're all themed around the continent. Oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> Duh. Tontons started back in 1911. Joseph William Tonton, he opened his shop in Sheffield, so you have the menu card. We'll do a bit of shaming here because Thornton's have used non-recyclable plastic film to cover their box of... How do you know it's non-recyclable? I'm just assuming because all plastic of this type is non-recyclable. All right, well, I want a Sicilian mousse because I'm hoping it'll be a bit lemony. You want, what does yours look I like? I want hazelnut Milano. That's this one, I think. Yep. This one. I'm going to Milan and you're going to... Sicily. Oh, we're both in Italy. Yeah, it is lemony. This is going to be nice. Ah, mmm. Mm. You can taste that the chocolate is slightly different to Cadbury, can't you? It's different. It's very different. It's fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! It's like... Yeah, it feels light. I want another one. Sevilla caramel. Mm. Oh, I can see the caramel, the gooey caramels mm. there. Overall, good effort, Tonton. Good effort. Next, Lynn. This is Switzerland chocolate. Switzerland has a reputation for quality, yeah. This is my favourite, my personal favourite. You can simply find this in Malaysia. It's a little bit expensive. This Lindo truffle was introduced in 1969. When it first introduced, it's actually for Christmas season. It becomes instantly famous. Nice round bowl. I think you want, I think this chocolate just, it's just better. It's really yummy. It's like bursts in your mouth. It feels like chocolate. The, te the texture of the truffle in these, it, it it's melt in the mouth. Mm. When you get through to the truffle and you feel it, and it, it's a bit like mousse, but not really. And then it just melts and you get all this flavor. And then by the time that's finished, chocolate started mm. to melt. And so you get this second hit. Yummy. Once you try this, you can understand why it is a worldwide famous chocolate. Mm. We also have the chocolate teddy. Teddy family! There was a little boy teddy, but that got eaten. In Hotel chocolate. That's yeah. how you pronounce it, right? Hotel chocolate. I'm not actually sure what the correct one is. Uh, interchangeably, it's Hotel chocolate or Hotel Chocolat. It's only established in 1993 mm. when they started trading online. In 2004, they opened their first shop in North London. Mm. This is your seriously middle class chocolate. A bit pricey. This is the famous H-Box. It costs about £12. About pounds, £14.15. Yeah. If you were to buy Hotel Chocolate of the size of Tontons this con yeah, this chocolate, continental. it's probably around £25 to £30. Pounds. Yeah. Yes, so that's how pricey it is. The idea behind this business is they want to make chocolate exciting again. Wow, modern. It's like fresh. What we should say is, is that we're not saying this is the very best chocolate. No. If you got if you're in the middle class and you've got a bit of extra money and you want something really fancy, this is the stuff to get. At least in my in my mind, the kind of people that will regularly reg I mean regularly mm -hmm. eat this kind of chocolate are the kind of middle class people who feel they're a little bit like oh i'm not gonna eat cadbury not, yeah oh, i imagine it's like i'm that. not gonna eat taunton yikes we're not like that no we're not like but that we do we, appreciate a good bit of chocolate we but appreciate we, it we're quite happy to eat cadbury exactly I mean. if i have craving for chocolate my go-to chocolate is arrow and arrow is so damn cheap there are 12 flavors Love look at how exciting they are and the it slides out the menu card you know how we're saying like how Fro Rocher aced mm. the presentation or whatever? Well, Hotel Chocolate do the same, but they don't need to use wrappings or packaging. They let the chocolate do the presenting. You probably can't see this, but underneath each chocolate, they have little symbols about what's what's alcoholic, what's good for vegetarian, gluten-free, etc. You can't really ever accidentally eat Alcoholics. something you're not meant to. H.C. Hotel Chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's rich. Mm. I think the chocolate is up there with the lint. You get the interesting 
flavors and decoration on the chocolate. Mm. Quality, good. Yeah. Flavor, good. Yeah. Price, not so good. Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. If you're the kind of person, well, okay, this might be a bit harsh, but in my mind, the mm. stereotype would be if you're buying this every week just to, as a regular thing, have an evening, you're probably snobbish middle class. I didn't say that. Can you say that? Have you ever wondered if they have a proper hotel? No. They actually have a hotel. Made of chocolate? No, it's a They're hotel and it's owned by Hotel Chocolate. It's in the Caribbean. It's in their estate. So they have a hotel. So that's all from us. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and enjoy chocolate, but do not overeat. Bye.